Gitness is a new open source developer platform from Harness, which combines source code management and continuous integration pipelines. But did you know that Gitness can deploy to Kubernetes? Hi, my name is Dewan Ahmed and I'm a developer advocate at Harness. In this video, we'll deploy an application to Kubernetes using Gitness. Imagine you have an application running on your local machine and you'd like to deploy this on a Kubernetes cluster. Here's how you can do that using Gitness. Gitness can build your application code, push the image to an image registry and deploy the application. You can also host your application and configuration code within Gitness. Now let's zoom in a bit. Now in this demo, we assume that the build and pushing the image part is already done. So we'll focus on the deployment part. We'll also create the required manifest file within Gitness source code management. Now let's check our Kubernetes cluster. You need a service account and appropriate role and role binding so that this account can create the necessary resources on your Kubernetes cluster. In this case, we need to create a deployment object. We'll do all of this within a specific namespace called Gitness. If you have followed the Getting Started Guide to install Gitness and signed up, the interface will look something like this. The first step is to create a new Gitness project. A project in Gitness is similar to a GitLab group or GitHub organization. I'll give this project a name, gitness-cd, and then create this project. You can either import a repository or create a new repository. I'll create a new repository, call this demo repo, and click on create repository. Now imagine that this is your configuration repository where you have your application configuration, Kubernetes manifest. I have a public guest with all these files, and I'll add a link of this GIST in the YouTube description. I have an Nginx deployment file. I'll copy this file and add it to the repository. But if you have some Kubernetes manifest of your own, you can add those as well. I'll give this a name, Nginx deployment.yaml, paste in the content, and commit the change with a very descriptive commit message. Once that's in, we can go ahead, click on pipeline plus new pipeline. I'll give this a name, deploy to KATS. The pipeline definition will be stored within dot harness folder in our pipeline. Think of this as pipeline as code approach. Now, if you had your application source code here, Getness is actually smart enough to generate the pipeline for you. Let's go ahead, remove the pre-generated one. We already have a pipeline definition that we can add. Before we add this file, let's go over our pipeline definition. In Gitness, a pipeline can have one or more stages. Here, we have a CI stage and a CD stage. Each stage can have one or more steps. The CI stage has a CI step and the CD stage has a CD step. The CI step is more like a placeholder. It does an echo command. This is because we're assuming the build and pushing the image to the registry part has already been done and we're focusing on the deployment part in this demo. That work happens within the CD step you'll see that we're using Alpine k image. This is because it comes with kubectl tool. Here, we're connecting to the repository using a secret for the Kubernetes API server URL and the token of the service account. Then we're applying the Nginx deployment file, which we added already. All of this is happening within the Gitness namespace context. Then we're checking the pods. You'll observe that we're doing 
this exec command to curl this from within the Kubernetes cluster. This is because depending on the provider you're using, there might be different instru instructions on how you expose the service. All right, now that we have gone over the pipeline definition, let's go ahead and add this pipeline definition to our Gitness pipeline. We will not run this pipeline yet because we have not added these secrets. So let's go ahead and save this pipeline for now. This is a good time to go to our terminal and I'm added to a Kubernetes cluster. I'm connected to a Kubernetes cluster. You might be using any managed Kubernetes cluster or you're using something like K3D. Next, we'll create a new namespace called Gitness, and we'll update the context so that kubectl is using this Gitness namespace. Next, we'll check the manifest file for our Kubernetes service account role and role binding. On line number four, you can see that this is gitness ss service account followed by the role and role binding. We're also creating a dedicated secret for the service account. Previous versions of Kubernetes automatically created this secret. It doesn't anymore. One thing to remember is this is a long lived secret. If you want to use short-lived secret, you can follow the recommended approach. But for this demo, we'll be using the long-lived secret. Let's go ahead and apply this file. Now we have the service account, role, role binding, and the service account token created. Now we need the values of those two secrets. The first one is the Kubernetes API server URL. So this is the Kubernetes API server URL. For your case, this will be different. So I'll go ahead and copy this. On the left-hand side, you'll see that secrets. Click on new secret. And from our pipeline definition, we remember that we called it k8s-server, paste in the value, create secret. The next secret we need is the Kubernetes service account that we just created. And the value for that would be token, but this token might have some new lines. That's why this echo command trims any new line from within this token. And yes, you're seeing my Kubernetes server token uh, in plain text. It's a recorded demo, so by the time you're watching this, this token will not be valid anymore. I'll go ahead and copy this token, add a new secret. So this is gitness-sa-token, and I'll paste in the value. Once I have these two secrets added, I'll go back to my repository. From here, I'll go to pipeline. And you can see that this pipeline has never been run before. Moment of truth. Let's click on run and see the pipeline execution. The CI stage and the CI step, which does an echo command, does exactly that. that built done and image pushed to registry but the actual work happens in CD stage. You can see that the pipeline executed successfully. And let's look at the logs within CD step. It connects to the cluster using the UR API server URL and the token. It applies the Kubernetes manifest for Nginx deployment. The deployment got created and you can see that the curl command was successful as well. Ready to get started with Gitness? You'll find all the resources in the video description to get started with Gitness. If you like this project, please start it in GitHub. Like and subscribe to the Harness YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.